While our world distressingly requires military and weapons, we can admire the impressive technology used by global militaries. Military vehicles boast superhero-like capabilities that could challenge even Iron Man. Yet, not all succeed. Can you guess which experimental and tactical vehicles fell short? Share your thoughts below and stay tuned to discover the answers. In today's K1 Car TV episode, we will explore 10 extraordinary military vehicles. The S-400 Triumph stands as the world's most formidable anti-aircraft missile system, unparalleled in its ability to neutralize any aerial target, including ballistic missiles. It boasts an impressive capability to destroy objects moving at speeds up to 5 kilometers per second surpassing even the world's fastest rocket, the Zircon, which travels at 3 kilometers per second. The S-400 quickly identifies and locks onto all targets within a 600-kilometer radius and an altitude of up to 100 kilometers in just 2 to 3 seconds, after which its homing missiles are primed for launch, showcasing its unmatched efficiency and power in aerial defense. The Crusher, an imposing 13,200 pounds off-road unmanned ground combat vehicle, excels in maneuverability over the toughest terrain's rugged landscapes, dense woods, steep rocky paths, and even sheer vertical surfaces over four feet high. With the capability to pivot 180 degrees in its tracks and transport up to 8,000 pounds of tactical equipment, this autonomous vehicle is effortlessly controlled using a video game controller, making it a dream for gamers. Engineered to always seek the fastest and most straightforward route, it skillfully navigates around obstacles, such as six-foot-deep gorges. Designed to tackle high-risk military missions including fire support, reconnaissance, or acting as a supply mule, the Crusher can also serve as a medevac, venturing into active battlefields to retrieve wounded soldiers. It boasts robust titanium frames and skid plates for protection, a hybrid engine from Volkswagen for extended range, and a high-resolution 1.9-megapixel color camera, paired with a 62-mile fiber-optic cable for data transmission, ensuring it accomplishes military objectives without endangering human lives. The M104 Wolverine a striking meld of design and practical effectiveness stands as an armored vehicle providing essential bridge deployment for military forces navigating expansive water obstacles. Impressive in its functionality, the Wolverine excels in speed, mobility, and robustness while boasting an advanced communication system to stay connected with command units. Operated by a duo within its armored hull, this heavy assault bridge carries its segmented structure atop itself, effortlessly anchoring and extending its span across waters when required. With a clever design enabling assembly in under 5 minutes and disassembling in less than 10 minutes, without the operators stepping out of their cabin the bridge efficiently supports 70-ton vehicles at speeds of 10 miles per hour. Despite its remarkable capacities, the Wolverine is notable for its lack of armaments. The Jobaria Defense System's multiple cradle launcher, an ominous name in itself, lives up to its reputation as a formidable weapon. This weapon, unique to the United Arab Emirates Way Army and internally manufactured, is a 95-foot-long vehicle featuring a 2402 multiple rocket launcher. The underlying concept was to mobilize artillery on a single vehicle, given the relatively smaller size of the Way's military force. This platform enables a three-man team to perform what normally requires 30 soldiers. The Jobaria Defense System comprises four rocket launchers on a trailer, each carrying 60, one to two millimeter rockets. The operator has the autonomy to decide the number and type of pods to be fired from these high explosive warheads. All rockets can be launched in less than two minutes, maintaining an impressive rate of two rounds per second. 
This system was notably deployed in the Yemeni Civil War as part of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen. Post-launch, the vehicle can either redeploy and continue firing if there's leftover payload or be reloaded within 30 minutes. Named after the Fennec Fox for its distinctive low and wide profile, the Fennec Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle serves the German and Dutch armies. Deployed to Afghanistan to support the International Security Assistance Force, the Fennec was first prototyped in April 2000, with field trials concluding in 2001. The Netherlands Army has purchased 410 units, while Germany has acquired 222. Equipped with a powerful diesel engine, the Fennec can reach speeds of up to 71 miles per hour and features selectable two- or four-wheel drive. Its primary observation tools include a thermal imager, daylight camera, and laser rangefinder mounted on an extendable mast, all integrated with a navigation system for precise target marking and data transmission. These sensors can also be detached and mounted on a tripod for stealth operations. For defense, it supports various armaments including a 12.7mm machine gun, anti-tank missiles, or a 40mm grenade launcher, while offering protection against 7.62mm rounds with options for additional armor. Moreover, the vehicle ensures crew comfort and safety with air conditioning and sealed protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. The M3 Amphibious Rig, an evolution of the M2, is designed as a self-propelled bridging vehicle that can carry tanks over water obstacles. Equipped with two large aluminum pontoons for aquatic mobility, it travels on land on four wheels at speeds up to 80 km per hour and navigates waters at 14 km per hour. Development started in 1982, leading to its prototype in 1992. By 1994, 64 were ordered, predominantly by German and British forces, with subsequent adoption by the Taiwan and Singapore armies. Singapore's model, known as the M3G, boasts an armored cabin and air conditioning for enhanced comfort. This versatile rig can also link with others to form a robust bridge, with just eight units sufficing to span a 100-meter gap, facilitating the crossing of military vehicles such as jeeps and tanks. While many military jeeps and vehicles have become obsolete due to advancements in technology, like the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, overshadowed by machines that can transport bridges for heavy vehicles to cross water, some have stood the test of time. Among these enduring vehicles is the Keeler, a mine-clearing vehicle developed in Germany. Designed to clear paths through minefields, the Keeler is equipped with a deployable mine flail system at its front capable of neutralizing both anti-tank and anti-personnel mines. This system involves a heavy-duty mine flail that simulates the pressure of a human foot to safely detonate mines, thereby allowing both soldiers and vehicles to pass safely. Remarkably efficient, the Keeler can clear a lane 15 feet wide and 390 feet long in just 10 minutes. However, its only form of defense is a set of smoke grenade dischargers, as it carries no weapons. The BVS-10 Viking, aptly named for its robust capabilities, is a formidable all-terrain, fully amphibious vehicle designed with an advanced articulated steering system. Created by Bi-Systems Swedish subsidiary, Huglones, this vehicle comprises a five-ton front car and a three-ton rear car, measuring 2.2 and 2.1 meters respectively. Capable of conquering any terrain and operating in extreme temperatures from minus 46 degrees Celsius. The Viking is as versatile as it is powerful, easily navigating through both jungle and Arctic conditions. Its prowess was proven in 2001 during trials in Oman's harsh desert. Garnering significant acclaim upon its debut, 
The UK Ministry of Defense secured 108 Vikings from Buy Systems, contributing to the over 11,000 units now deployed in 40 countries, with plans to keep them operational beyond 2031. The Willys MB Jeep, often understated by its common name, is an iconic symbol eclipsing even the Humvee in historical significance. Its impact extends far beyond its modest appearance, reminiscent of the Schwimmwagen, with both vehicles playing pivotal roles in the Second World War. Boasting the distinction of being the premier light wheel transport for the US military and allies, the Jeep was the world's first mass-produced four-wheel drive car with a total production of 650,000 units. An additional 277,000 units were produced under license by Ford. Interestingly, the classic vertical slack grille design of modern Jeeps was actually an innovation by Ford for its GPW model. This feature used fewer resources in its construction than the original flat iron item, leading to its adoption by Willys due to lower manufacturing costs. While we have witnessed astounding feats in aviation and off-road vehicles, the world of maritime vessels shouldn't be discarded. At the pinnacle of naval crafts stands the Navy LCAC, the landing craft air cushion. This spectacular ship melds the elements of air and water, employing a cushion of air to glide over terrains effortlessly. Its interior is as imposing as its exterior, designed to transport an array of resources from various task forces from weapon systems and equipment to cargo and personnel. The LCAC outperforms its peers by carrying an impressive total of 68 tons of cargo, all while preserving a surprising velocity of 48 miles per hour. Being in its path can be a daunting yet thrilling experience, as the eye-inspiring vision of this marine leviathan hints at the highly considerable force it brings with it. <laughs>